time tonight? A little bit. Are we having a good time so far? So far, so good. I'm regretting not eating before. Do you want a power I hit the red carpet. Do you have a power bar? I've got some energy bars. If you have one, I'll li I will literally take that. <laughs> if only I could, it's in that blue bag right down there. Wait, here we go. Thank you. See? Oh man. No way. Thank you. I love these. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Billboard and Hollywood Reporter. We Bill, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You can always come down. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I just had like champagne and like nothing else, so I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. That's not a bad meal. It's not a bad meal, but I just ran four miles, so <laughs> it's like, you know, you kinda have that like crash afterwards where I'm just like all I'm thinking about is red lobster. Anyway. Red, red lobster. Or PF Chang's, whatever. So, something really good for you. Something really good for me. What are you most looking forward to seeing tonight on the show? I have no idea who's performing. I have no idea what's going on. Um, Adele. I know Adele is. Per sorry, I know Adele's performing. Because you were kind of involved with the album I'm a little involved bit. Involved with that. Yeah. Um, and I found out uh, literally three days ago that I have the next single, so I'm excited about that. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. It. Should, that should be a single. Yeah, I'm kind of stoked. So, um, you know. I love Adele. I emailed her like an hour ago and just said, have some champagne and chill out and this is your night and whatever. You know, it's, it is what it is. That's the thing about the Grammys. It's like, you never know what's going to happen, but I, I haven't seen a, a, a scenario where I think there might be more of a sweep, a clean sweep yeah. in my life, in my career. Yeah. What are you expecting from the big comeback tonight? How do you think she's going to do? I think she's going to kill it. I think... Um, you know what I'm excited about is that I've done this red carpet, I've done three interviews, and I haven't act I've only been asked one question about Whitney Houston. And, and, and I know that's sad because I know what happened yesterday. I was at the Clive party when it happened. She was in the same building. We're sitting there eating dinner and celebrating and everyone's like, Whitney's like in this building. But it's Adele today is Adele's night. Or today today's Adele's day. Let me rephrase that. So I'm just excited that that uh, somebody as raw and as real as that. Um, has actually cut through at radio and cut through uh, with culture. I've never seen anything like it. I feel honored to be involved with it, honestly. Switching gears a little bit. Now, there's a, definitely um, a big trend in reality programming with uh, singers. If you had to choose a show to audition on, if you were starting out again, which one would you pick? If I had to audition for a reality show right now? Yeah, Voice, Idol, X Factor. Oh, those kind yeah. of shows. Oh, yeah. oh, oh sorry. Not like Top Chef. Like Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> well, we could do that. That would be fun. Gavin DeGraw's doing Dancing with the Stars, I just heard. He is. Yeah. Scoop. Uh, Scoop. Is that serious? I, I just heard that. I don't know. I produced a single that's out right now. So yeah. I like. I was talking we with the labels. Gavin. Well, he's Good. amazing. He's yeah. one of my favorite male singers like alive. Uh, as far as all those shows, if I was to audition for one of them, uh... I'm not going to pick biases because I, bro, I'll give you a real answer. I know people that work for all three of those companies, but, but the reality is, so far American Idol has turned out more success stories. So I think X Factor makes a little bit more interesting television. I think The Voice is more exciting and young, but American Idol has proven to actually turn out stars. Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, Chris Daughtry, I mean, go on and on and on. So if you're going to play the odds, American Idol is still turning out the most stars, so that's probably what I'd audition for. What do you say to critics who think that maybe it's too easy to get started in business now with shows like that, YouTube, social media? They're right. Yeah, yeah. They're dead right. And I don't want to name names, but there are YouTube stars right now, and you can fill in the blank, who are struggling. There's a couple of them. And they. It, what the problem is, you go from your basement to a hundred million people in like 30 days. And, and, and that, that really, if you don't actually have to put in the work and you don't actually, stage fright goes away when you do it enough. But if you just go from your basement to TV or your basement to the stage or your basement to a music video, it's overwhelming, it's not fair. And like, it's just, but the, 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 what happens is something blows up big enough and if one record label is going to sign it, then the other ones are like, well, they can't have it. I want to sign it. And so then all of a sudden it's like you have this artist who got signed out of their basement, $2 million record deal. They'll never recoup. They're screwed. They don't have any hit songs. So it's, it's, it actually works against them. But you should be a manager, too. I don't have the time. <laughs> Busy man. Yeah. Well, anyway. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping. Absolutely. And good luck tonight on Album of the Year. Thanks 
so much.